Toby and the Falcon, written and created by Miss Christiana. Ooh, can you name and identify some of the UAE monuments found on our front cover? Toby and the Falcon is a unique book because it opens from top to bottom rather than the traditional left to right. This makes it easier for a read aloud if you're an educator or a parent at home. Or if you're traveling or on the go and you're a student, you can hold it in your lap. Fits perfectly in your lap and easy to carry. Toby and the Falcon. Today is Toby's first international move. He will begin his travels with his traveling teaching mommy, Miss Christiana, from their happy home in New York to a delightful destination, the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> Toby is worried about moving to a new country and leaving loved ones, but he meets an unlikely companion on his journey who helps to ease his worries with words of wisdom and friendly advice. Hello, is anybody there? Toby called out with an anxious shiver. A voice answered from above. Freddy the frequent flyer Falcon here, but you can call me Falcon for short. And who might you be? Toby peered through the bars of his crate. To his left, he spotted an incredible creature, much unlike he had seen before, perched high upon a wooden post. I'm Toby, do you know where we are? Mm, hint, hint, where do you think he is? <laughs> Come, Toby, you can sit too. Falcon replied proudly, We are traveling safely in an airplane to our destination in the UAE. <laughs> Toby tucked his puffy tail between his legs. He had never flown in an airplane before. Now, when dogs tuck their puffy tails between their legs, it means that they're nervous or they're scared. Falcon, he whispered. I'm scared. Oh no, look at the worry in Toby's eyes. Now Toby is in his crate because he's traveling on a cargo plane. And this is how pets travel when they cross countries. No need for fear, my furry friend, Falcon chuckled. He explained to Toby that when a family must go far, far from home, an airplane is the safest and fastest way to get there. Falcon had lived in the UAE for most of his life and had traveled a great deal. He felt very knowledgeable about all these things that seemed so new to Toby. Falcon thought back to the time of his first flight and remembered how nervous he was. Look at that proud Falcon. Suddenly, he had a great idea. Toby, would you like to learn about your new home in the UAE as we pass the time on this long flight? Look at how excited Toby is. He goes, yes, please, Falcon. I know nothing about my new home. Fantastic. Ask me anything you wish. Toby took a deep breath and quickly rattled off all of the questions he had burning in his brain. Everybody take a deep breath. Are you ready? <gasps> Hold a deep breath. Are you ready? What is UA like? Will it be like my old home? Will anyone speak my language? Will anyone look like me? Will I make new friends? What will happen to all of my friends and family from back home? Take another deep breath. <gasps> As Toby paused for a breath, Falcon managed to sneak a word in and bring Toby's questions to a halt. Whoa, whoa, little fella. You certainly are an inquirer. Let's start with what the UAE is like. The hot weather might be the first thing you notice about the UAE. It has a desert climate and you will see many palm trees and lots of sand. Desert climates are mostly dry, hot, and sunny with very little rain or cloudy days. This means you can splash and play in the pool and sea for most of the year. Toby loved the sound of this because back in New York, sometimes he couldn't play outside if it was too rainy or too cold or quite snowy. Falcon continued, the UAE is a pleasant place filled with people from different cultures around the world. You will meet people and paws from all walks of life. Toby had never heard some of these words. <clears throat> and asked Falcon to explain. Different cultures? What do you mean by cultures? Falcon thought quickly on how to define this big word. Culture is a word <clears throat> used to talk about things like food, traditions, dress, and language of the different nationalities of the world. 
Some of these may be new to you in the beginning of your travels, but if you are open-minded to these experiences and a risk taker when trying something new, you will have great fun exploring these cultural differences. Ooh, can you name some of the flags? You can pause the video here and try and name some of the flags in the different cultures. I bet you know this one, and you probably know this one too. <clears throat> Toby wanted to know more. Falcon, if there are so many people from different places around the world, will I meet anyone who speaks my language? Falcon offered some wise advice. You will meet friends who speak different languages, but there's no need for worry. Everyone speaks the language of friendship. As long as you are kind and caring to all people and pause, the language you speak will no longer matter. Toby felt so relieved. He was like, Phew. and now his tail was wagging again. Oh, so in the beginning, his tail was tucked underneath him. Now it's wagging. Interesting. But will I meet anyone who looks like me? Falcon assured Toby. You might meet friends who look similar to you, but it would be a very boring world if we all look the same. It is our differences that make us each unique and special. And look, they're more than halfway in their journey. <clears throat> Toby was having a wonderful time picturing all of the many friends he would meet when suddenly the plane began to bump and jiggle. Oh no, can you bump and jiggle in your seat? Bump and jiggle, bump and jiggle. Don't be frightened, Toby. We just flew through some uneasy patches of air. That shifty shake of the aircraft is called turbulence and it's completely normal on long flights. Toby was relieved to hear this. Now that you've learned quite a bit about your new home in the UAE, is there anything else you've been worrying about? Toby took some time to reflect and replied, actually, there is one more thing. I'm leaving so many friends and family back home and it, was, it makes me sad to think I may never see them again. Toby's tail drooped and his head hung low at the thought of missing so many loved ones. Can you see how sad he looks? Poor Toby. <clears throat> I understand your concern, Toby, and it is very difficult to be far apart from family and friends, but there are so many ways you can stay in touch with them. You can make phone calls, write letters and emails, and make plans to visit one another in the future. And now we can even make video calls. I also keep my loved ones close when I travel by carrying my favorite teddy with me to remind me of the love we have for one another. Falcon carefully lifted his left wing to reveal a teddy tucked under his feathers. Do you have a favorite toy? Toby does. And look, this is his actual raccoon. We use this for the illustration. Toby smiled and was now thinking of what special toy and memory he could hold close to his heart. With all of his questions answered, Toby's tail was wagging again, and he felt greatly assured by Falcon's advice and care. Thank you so much, Falcon. I can't wait to settle into my new home. Falcon was delighted to hear this. Excellent news, Toby. I can tell you are well on your way to becoming an internationally minded global pup. <laughs> look how excited he is. And look, our journey is coming to a close. <clears throat> From above, the pilot's voice crackled over the intercom. Good evening, paws and claws. We hope you have enjoyed your flight thus far. We will now begin our descent into the beautiful United Arab Emirates. Okay, everybody, buckle your seatbelt. Click, click. Sit up nice and tall. Get ready for landing. Toby was shocked to hear that the plane will soon land. The 14-hour journey seemed so quick thanks to his conversation with Falcon. All of Toby's worries and anxieties had now turned into excitement for his new adventures in exploring and discovering more about his new home country. And now look, this is me picking up Toby from the airplane, now we're in the UAE, and this is Falcon and his owner. As we're walking away, Toby says, Falcon, will I ever see you again? Falcon says, 
Of course you will, Toby. Friends are forever. Farewell, my forever friend, Falcon. And Falcon replies, Toby, there is no good in saying goodbye. So instead I will say, see you soon, Toby the Traveling Toy Poodle. And if you're interested in learning more about planes, in the book you can learn about altitude, time zones, temperature, ground speed. Also, this is Toby's very own passport. You can learn more about Toby, where he was born, how old he is. And if you'd like to create your own passport, there's a link at the bottom here. You can print one out yourself and Along with the password, there's many different activities that you can do using this read aloud or the book. And then you see here, this is Toby's passport stamp page. Toby now travels to 10 new countries where he learns to become an internationally minded global pup. Now, what does that mean, internationally minded? Well, according to the IB, it means that you embody the attributes of the 10 learner profile. So if you see here, says, follow Toby's next worldly travels as he discovers what it means to be balanced, caring, a communicator, an inquirer, knowledgeable, open-minded, principled, reflective, a risk taker, and a thinker. And if you want a little sneak peek into the next books of the series, with each book, there is a fold-out map game. So you go three, two, one, boom, and look. <gasps> And you can meet the next characters, the 10 next characters of the series, and try and guess where he travels to next, where he learns to become internationally minded. Also, with the map game, there are 25 open-ended questions that you and your family can do together on your own using the fold-out map. I'm gonna close the map, I'm gonna close the book, and on the back, you can see that that's me and Toby. Learn a little bit more about us. This is our illustrator, Miss Patricia. And please visit our Instagram and our Facebook at buy.miss.christiana and also our website, www.buymisschristiana.com. All the links are below. Thank you for joining us. And as an additional bonus, I have some free coloring pages up on uh, Teachers Pay Teachers under By Miss Christiana that you can print out at home or color on your tablet. It was so nice to meet everybody. Let me go get Toby. Let me get one final goodbye from him. Here he is. It was so nice to meet everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Say bye, Toby. If you have any questions, please you can email me or contact me on Instagram. Say bye. <laughs>